All right, today we're gonna to talk about different camper floor plans. We have so many different options and really what's best for you depends on what you're most comfortable with. Um, are you traveling with other people? Do you need to sit somewhere to work? Um, and so all those kinds of questions will help guide you in the best floor plan for, for your needs. This is an example of a shell model. You can get it with or without seating. Um, if you get no seating, it looks like this on both sides. This makes a really great platform for building something out yourself. Here I'm in a rollover couch. Uh, this literally rolls over uh, into kind of this nice large bed. Uh, and this one in particular has the king slide out option. So this pulls all the way out here to make this massive bed. All right, so now we're in a side dinette. Um, has a little table you can sit at, and then this does turn into a small extra bed. You just remove the table and you set it aside. And then this rolls on over to create this little bench-like sleeping area. And check out the nice view you get out the window. All right, now we're in a front dinette. This keeps all of the seating in the front, uh, the kitchen area in the back. Um, this does turn into a nice bed. This one has a couple bonus features too, only available in the front dinette. So this one has an inside shower um, and it also has a built-in toilet. So this is our Project M Topper. Um, you see what I mean by open space. Uh, this is a completely blank slate to do whatever you want. You can throw your equipment in here. You can build it out with cabinets and shelves. Um, we have a fridge in here. Um, so lots of options to keep it really simple or build it out to suit your needs. All right, this is an example of a flatbed camper. There's so much space in here because you don't have to clear the wheel wells as like you do in a slide-in camper. Um, the seating stays here in the rear, so we call this rear dinette seating. This does turn into a bed. Um, in a Granby, so our eight foot bed, the seating is what grows. And so you get a really nice place for four people to sit. Um, this has a little bit of a bonus feature that no other campers have. This has some under bed storage. Hopefully this overview has helped you narrow in on what's gonna be best for you based on your needs, how many people you travel with, which is feels right. Um, I can say after a lot of experience with these campers, there really is something for everybody. Uh, if you have questions or you're not sure what's best for you, please visit one of your local dealers. Um, you can get in the campers, you can touch and feel them. Um, it, it really makes a big difference. So I hope that you find what's, what's best for you.